What is up guys? Welcome back. Today I thought I would share with you my Sephora haul which comes at a perfect time. I was going to do it this weekend anyway and then I got a email saying that they have their like annual spend 75 get $15 off depending on I think you know how much money you spend. I got a lot of Patrick Ta stuff because he came out with like a whole new is it like a summer a whole new summer um, collection. The first thing I got was She's Juicy Major Glow Lips. This is basically just your typical lip gloss. Um, I liked it because I didn't find that it was super sticky and it had some a really good consistency where it would really smooth out your lips and just make them um, really like juicy for the summer obviously she's juicy so that's why I got that and then I purchased she's thirsty and this is the dewy mist milk which I have not tried or really heard anything about I wonder what this smells like oh god it smells so good Ooh, the spray is pretty nice on here oh god it smells so good it smells like a Oh my god, there's just something. It smells like a, a mix between spa and herbal and like fruity or cherries or something. It's a really nice, interesting scent. I like the way that it spritzes. It's very like non-direct. Like sometimes with um, sometimes with like the Urban Decay one, I find like it's like a stream of water that hits one spot and then I have to like pat a tissue over it or something this is very fine Ooh, i like that and the bottle is really cute it's really nice stuff and then i also got a major glow all over body balm and this is she's glossy oh my gosh i've not even seen this like i have tried to stay away from videos that feature this so i can just make my own assumptions oh my god this is exactly what I want my vagina to smell like. If he would make a perfume out of that or a body lotion, oh my god, I would be like first in line. I feel like this is a perfect way to smell. A mix between like peppermint and oily essential oils and like beachy fruit. I don't know how to describe it, but it is seriously probably one of my favorite scents. Maybe because it's a little bit along the lines of Tom Ford's Norale Portofino where it's hard for me to describe the scent of it because it's so unique but it's so yummy at the same time oh my god highly recommend highly highly recommend well I got two of his blushes uh, and these are blushes are ones where they don't swatch great but when you apply them they just apply so beautifully oh, this is just a really beautiful nude peach color and I'm gonna try my best to show you the consistency they don't swatch great, but they really apply nicely. So that is She's Sincere. It's a, a really nice nude. And then this I also got, I got this one because of Babs Beauty. I think the majority of America did. This is She's So LA blush. So I guess you could call it like a neuter blush. No, it's definitely a bronzer. Oh God. Well, no, maybe it isn't a bronzer. Oh, I thought it was. No cream to... So that is She's So LA. So freaking pretty. I really like that. I also purchased the Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Foundation. I'm wearing it today and it, the consistency reminds me a lot of Estee Lauder's Double Wear. Um, it's medium to like full coverage, but it's... I feel like it could be really drying if you don't apply it correctly. I applied it with... A buffing brush and I didn't love it so I'm gonna try it on camera with a beauty blender and see if I like it a little bit better because it covers really nicely uh, but it might be one of those foundations like the double wear where it could not look great if you didn't apply it correctly and I'm in the shade light beige uh, of course you can't try it on in the store I got it by just her swatching on a fucking paper plate. She did say this would oxidize a little bit because it is matte, but I don't always trust what they say, so we will see. But it looks like some of the claims on here are pretty good. 
of this said that this foundation blurs away imperfections and that's very true i found this foundation to be really airbrushing so high hopes next thing that i got was the airbrush flawless setting spray from charlotte tilbury i really want to try it out and like she gets me to buy her shit all the time so uh this is what it looks like i'm always down for new setting sprays especially ones that Oh, this smell has a nice smell too. I like the Patrick Ta one better. This is a clean, um, a very just clean, light fragrance. Mm. This one's nice. I like the spritzer in this one. A couple things. I did get another bronzer like I ever need one in my entire life. And this was this one's from Ilia and it's called Drawn In. This is a the lighter one. I don't know what possessed me to buy it. Probably Michelle Wong. This might be too light for me, but I liked the color of it a lot. So for you guys who are super fair, definitely try this one out. I think that you guys will like it. There's hardly any orangey undertones to it, so it's gonna be a really good one if you are fair and have a hard time finding bronzers. I just think it's gonna be too light for me right now, but. This purchase was a while ago. I think it was like March in quarantine. Glam Glow sent me these two things, the Glam Glow Youth Potion Rejuvenating Peptide Serum. I'm gonna try this out. And I literally just did this mask because my skin is breaking out so bad and it really helped. This is the Youth Mud Glow Stimulating Treatment. I really like this for when I'm breaking out, but I can only use it when I'm breaking out, which is seems to be a lot. I mean, this is gonna be a really bad period. The last couple of things, I wanted to try out the Bounce Beauty Blender Concealer. I love this foundation so much, so I thought that I would like this too. This is uh, Medium Sand 3.20 is what I, tr not tried on in the store, but looked. It's kind of, like I was just opening up just like this, and she was like literally over my shoulder. I'm like, I think this is gonna be a really nice medium shade. Uh, I don't like my under eye area to be super highlighty, maybe just sometimes, but that's never a look that I liked on myself. It always looks really good on other people when I watch their videos, but for me, I just feel like it makes me look gray with any type of concealer. So I prefer on me for my under eyes to um, match me as much as I can, I match my skin tone as much as possible, maybe just like one shade lighter, but I don't like five shades lighter. So the last thing I got, and I'm so excited to try this because I'm just really excited to try it, it's uh, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in Honey. I always liked her setting powder, but since I want to keep self tanning, I just wanted something that had a little bit, that was a little bit darker, so if I wanted to bake under my eyes, I didn't like, like I said, I don't like that highlighter look, so I thought something that was a little less white would look good. Let's see here. So this is kind of like, it's just a light yellow color. Oh my God, this is going to be perfect for anybody that is, anyone that is medium skin tone, this is really going to, you're really going to like this. The shade is just kind of almost like this neutral yellow color it's not really yellow but it's just a nice color so if you love the og powder i think that you would really love this if you were dark or if you tan and you don't want to use the translucent i think this is going to be really nice so i love that is that all um okay so the next thing i got i got this pr package a while ago from urban decay and this is, comes with the face grip long primer the long lasting makeup setting spray and ultra matte Ooh, i'm gonna try that and then there's two more it's just the all nighter which is the original and then um let's see this one. this one is the defense makeup setting spray oh is this new one now yeah this this one is like pollution protection if you're like especially in the cities pollution's really bad especially if you're in la like i can't believe the sky when I go to LA it's like gray and then the face grip primer I actually purchased this that's how much I like it it does smooth and really mattifies the face but not it does not look drying at all so this is a nice option 
and then um, the ultra matte have you guys anyone tried that I've been dying to see I do get oily after an hour or so so that would be really nice to test out so is it for my Sephora haul if you guys leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye